Welcome to 100 Days of Python, the Python Code Along Challenge. I'm Bill Mosley, and if you want to find the entire listing of 100 Days of Python, you can find it at my website, www.bmosley.com hdp. Let's get started. Okay, so in this video, I want to take a look at something that is one of the things that makes Python so special. And that is the use or the ability to use Python modules. And we've been using modules, we've been using libraries and importing them into our programs um, and using those things like random or even the turtle module. Um, but Python is really great, uh, not because it has all of these pre-made modules, but because you can make your own modules. You can make code in files that's reusable that you can use uh, throughout your code and that makes it really powerful. And so I'm going to show you a basic example of how this would work and I'm going to use the the calculator program that we built on day 10. You can see it here on the screen and I'm going to start out just by copying that whole calculator program into a new file so we don't mess up the old one. And so now what I want to do is I want to look at this. and I want to take a look at where might I use custom functions in this. And the obvious choices are here and here. That would make my main program flow a little bit shorter and allow me to focus all of the functionality of this script on controlling the menu choices and the user interactions and that sort of thing. But this part is is where I'm calculating from Fahrenheit to Celsius and of course this one is the opposite it is uh, going from from Celsius of course to Fahrenheit so I'm gonna take the code out of these and I'm gonna put it into functions up here on top that's the first thing I want to do so I'm gonna say define do f to c and it's not going to take any parameters that I've created. All I'm going to do is take the code from this first choice where I'm converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. I'm going to cut it to the clipboard and paste it there. I'm going to add one more function, def, do c to f, and I need to include the empty parentheses, also no parameters. I'm going to do the same thing here and take this code for Celsius to Fahrenheit and cut it and paste it there. Now I've got two functions that are basically self-contained where I, where I request the input, does the calculation, and spits out the answer for Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now if I take those, as we know, and I put those down here in these spaces, then my program will work just fine, right? So I've got Fahrenheit to Celsius, if I type in 32 degrees, Celsius at zero, and so on. So that is great. And if I only want to use these functions in this program, that works just fine. But what if I want to share these functions? What if I what if I made functions that were so useful that I want to use them in other places? And this is similar to what we've we've been using other modules, but now we're going to create another module. It's surprisingly simple. All I'm going to do is take these whole functions, cut them, and paste them into another file. That file is called mycalc.py, so it's another Python script, and all it's going to have in it are these two functions. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to go back to my original script. You'll notice that the functions down here are underlined in red, indicating that they're not defined for this script. So what I have to do now is import the module that I've created. So my module is called mycalc.py. And if I want to import that, I'm just going to say mycalc, import mycalc, just like we've been doing. And if you notice, these are still underlined in red. The reason for that is because when I say import mycalc, I'm importing that whole module. And that module acts as a container or a context. Uh, and, and, and some people call it a namespace that says all of these functions, or these two functions, exist only inside here. So if we want to use that namespace or refer to that, 
then I'm going to type my calc dot and then the name of the function. And you'll see that when I do that, the red underline goes away. And if I run this, you can see that it's working just fine now. So that's the way we want to do things. But you've also seen me, you've seen me do import something like import random, but you've also seen me say something like from my calc import star. And what that says is from my calc, from this module, import all the functions. And, and essentially what I'm doing here is I'm saying, let's take all the functions out of here and put them back into this namespace. So in this case, I no longer need to provide the namespace as a reference down here and everything will work just fine. Another way I could do this, if I wanted to be more specific, let's say I had 100 functions in this module and I only wanted these two, what I could do is I could just name them with a comma in between and then I can import them by name just like that and everything works just great. So that is your basic introduction to the creation of modules. Uh, in the next one, we'll take it a little bit further and we'll do something a little bit more complicated because these are these are very simple functions that are totally self-contained where you're, where you're getting the input, doing the calculation, and putting out the response. Um, we can also have functions here that that take parameters and provide a return value. So we'll we'll take a look at that in the next one. Thanks for joining me today. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video and coding along with me. Once again, if you want to access the entire listing of 100 Days of Python, you can do it at my website, www.bmosley.com slash HDP. You can also access my book, Introduction to Python Programming for Absolute Beginners, at my website, www.bmosley.com slash book. Thanks again, and we'll see you around.